St John operates in over 40 countries providing first aid, first aid training and community-based healthcare activities. In 2014, over 1.7 million people were treated and 4.3 million people reached by St John. As a charity, St John Ambulance in England is committed to making sure more people can be the difference between a life lost and a life saved. St John Ambulance's main activity is teaching people first aid, roughly around 800,000 in 2013. Many people become St John Ambulance volunteers, offering their skills and time to be the difference right in the heart of their community at public events or providing backup to local ambulance services. In addition, St John Ambulance runs a programme which enables young people to learn important life skills such as first aid. Cadets can put their first aid and other communication skills into practice by providing first aid to the public, events or teaching first aid to other young people and adults. Formed in 1947, St John Scotland is divided into 12 areas, each with their own projects, such as the First Responder Service in Angus and Dundee and Palliative Care in Dumfries and Galloway. St John in Scotland mainly supports mountain rescue by providing rescue bases and vehicles for Scottish mountain rescue teams, as well as providing boats for two Scottish rescue boat services. In 2015, St John Scotland is focusing on providing defibrillators to places such as railway stations and during major golf events. They have launched a major project working in partnership with the Scottish Golf Union and the Scottish Ladies Golfing Association to provide defibrillators at national event venues over the next three years. Each year, 100,000 people die from sudden cardiac arrest in the UK so, with better availability of defibrillators and the necessary training could help to save more lives. In 2013, St John Scotland donated a new vehicle containing some of the most advanced intensive care equipment. Stationed at the base at the Royal Hospital for Sick Children in Glasgow, it travels from Stonyway to Dumfries, transporting critically ill babies to the medical centres where they can get the best help. In addition, thanks to a donation from St John Scotland, local charity Handicabs Limited received a specially adapted vehicle to help transport patients to and from hospital appointments in Edinburgh. St John Cymru Wales is dedicated to training the community in first aid helping to achieve the aim of having a first aider on every street by 2017. The charity's volunteers offer their skills and time at the heart of their community, providing first aid cover at public events. These range from football and rugby international matches to trekking events or providing backup to local ambulance services. The friendly professional staff pride themselves on providing patients with modern ambulances and comfortable cars. The high quality non-emergency patient transport is used by NHS trusts and social services as well as private patients. St John of Jerusalem Eye Hospital Group has been the only charitable provider of expert eye care in East Jerusalem, Gaza and the West Bank for over 130 years. They continue to save sight and change lives today irrespective of race, religion or ability to pay. The rate of blindness in the Palestinian territories is 10 times higher than in the West. St John of Jerusalem Eye Hospital Group is leading the campaign against preventable blindness in the region, treating over 124,000 patients each year, including the operation of over 5,000 major surgeries. As well as having medical centres in Jerusalem, Hebron, and APTA and Gaza, there is also a mobile outreach team that travels in the most isolated communities bringing essential diagnosis, treatment and referrals to those who live without access to even the most basic healthcare.
St John also operates the only diabetic retinopathy screening program in the region. Apart from saving sight, specialist training of doctors and nurses provides the only route for Palestinian medical professionals to become fully registered ophthalmic practitioners. So far, over 120 nurses and over 30 doctors have been trained. 63 of these medical staff have continued to work for St John after their training. Active since 1879, St John in South Africa carries out its operations from 10 major centres located in various cities and towns. St John South Africa is known for training in first aid and home-based care. So far they have trained over 23,000 people and have given over 90,000 hours of service to the South African public during times of national emergency or disaster. Their advanced home care programme includes HIV, age training, care for the elderly, the integrated management of childhood illness to reduce infant mortality by supporting pregnant women and mothers to have access to vital health services. In addition, they operate 14 eye clinics around the country providing professional eye testing and dispense spectacles to those underprivileged members, most notably the elderly and school children of the community, who are unable to afford commercial rates. In partnership with the Pella Peppa Health Trains, which travel to the most remote areas of the country, St John South Africa provides first aid and home-based care training to the various communities where the Pella Peppa Trains visit. Set up in 1928, St John Ambulance in Kenya operates in nine regions involved in a number of community health programmes based on community needs. These programmes include community home-based care for people living with HIV or AIDS, voluntary counselling and testing, and psychological first aid. St John Ambulance workers and volunteers provide critical food medication and emotional support to thousands of residents were forced to flee their homes during times of disaster. Maternal and newborn child health by working directly with women in communities, empowering them with resources and information to help save mothers' lives and reduce morbidity of infants and children. They have a volunteer base of over 22,000 individuals who contribute their time and skills to help vulnerable people within their communities. St John in Malawi and Zambia provides health programmes across communities which include primary health care, home-based care projects and first aid services. Recently, both St John in Malawi and Zambia have taken on a leading role in saving the lives of mothers and babies in the new St John Mother and Baby programme. Local volunteers within the communities improve the health of mothers and babies by teaching women about nutrition and antenatal checkups, preparing for labour and the birth as well as teaching men how to play a stronger support role. Active in Australia for over 130 years, St John Ambulance is a self-funding, charitable organisation active in all states and territories dedicated to helping people in sickness, distress, suffering or danger. Providing services to a broad scope of the community, St John Ambulance Australia is the country's leading supplier of first aid services and training. Activities include a national youth development programme for more than 4,000 young people aged 8 to 18 years, ambulance services in Western Australia and the Northern Territory, a range of community care services for the elderly provided by 2,000 volunteers, public access defibrillators throughout the Australian community and first aid training where over 500,000 first aid certificates were issued only last year. As the largest primary care provider in New Zealand, St John not only provides ambulance services and first aid training but they are also playing an increasing role in meeting broader health needs within communities. 
Last year, they responded to over 400,000 emergency incidents, trained 60,000 people through first aid courses, and have over 6,000 young people attending youth programmes. Key community services across the country include Friends in the emergency department, where volunteers provide comfort and support to patients and their families in hospital emergency departments. Caring Caller Scheme, a service which provides for people who live alone or feel a bit lonely. Volunteers phone clients regularly to check that everything is okay. Health Shuttles, a free community service which transports people to essential medical and health related appointments and brings them home again. The Outreach Therapy Pets programme is about the connection between animals and people. Volunteer pet owners visit patients in rest homes and hospitals with their animals. The pets have a calming influence which creates a variety of health benefits such as a reduction of heart disease and depression. Started in 1884, St John Ambulance in Hong Kong offers various training to the community such as first aid, home nursing care and automated external defibrillation provider training. Their Ambulance Brigade trains men and women to become volunteers to provide ambulance services, first aid services and dental outreach programmes to elderly and disabled people who cannot afford the cost of private dental care. The Brigade has over 6,000 volunteers who are trained to be efficient and competent at all times to perform public duties, events and responding to emergencies. Currently there are 10 ambulances stationed at three depots to attend emergency calls from residents of Hong Kong Island, Kowloon and the New Territories on a 24-hour basis. The Youth Programme of St John Ambulance Brigade trains teenagers aged between 12 to 18 in first aid, home nursing and encourages them to develop their interest in social and practical skills such as road and home safety and community care. As the leading first aid charitable organisation in Malaysia since 1908, St John Ambulance in Malaysia has been providing first aid, ambulance highway emergency services as well as during times of disaster to those in need throughout the country. St John Ambulance in Malaysia operates dialysis centres to help people experiencing serious problems with their kidneys. Kidney failure is often caused by diabetes and high blood pressure. The hemodialysis service is vital for filtering out the harmful substances in the blood when the kidney is unable to do so. Currently, St John Ambulance in Malaysia manages 16 dialysis centres with more than 200 machines and helping over 500 patients. As part of their community services, St John Ambulance Malaysia organises blood donation centres for diabetes and dialysis clinics, as well as visiting orphanages and elderly homes to cheer and spend time with the residents. With more than 75% of members consisting of people under 18 years old, St John Ambulance in Malaysia runs a youth programme dedicated to help young people to develop leadership and interpersonal skills by not only teaching first aid training, but also undertaking foot drill, public speaking and taking part in proficiency badges scheme. Incorporated in 1957 for the purpose of supporting St John Eye Hospital and made a priory in 1996, the American members remain deeply committed to this mission. They encourage their members to visit the hospital on sponsored pilgrimages as well as carrying out fundraising activities, raising money for St John Eye Hospital. Recently, St John USA Volunteer Corps programme has partnered with the Department of Veterans Affairs where members can volunteer in support of military veterans and activities like the wheelchair regatta. St John Ambulance in Canada serves two main purposes. One is public training and educating people on how to save a life with first aid. The second is being involved in community services which includes medical first aid responders, youth programmes, emergency response teams providing first aid and other services during times of disasters, 
Therapy dog programs to bring joy and comfort to the sick, lonely and those in need of a friendly visit and volunteers. St John Ambulance has been involved in Canada since 1883 when they first issued a first aid certificate in Quebec City. This tradition carries on today with more than 550,000 people receiving first aid and CPR training every year. Today, more than 12,000 frontline volunteers contribute their time back into the community and St John Ambulance offers the largest number of first aid training courses throughout Canada. Operating for over 115 years, St John Ambulance Jamaica has a very proud record of service by providing people with first aid knowledge and skills through training and providing help in times of national disasters throughout the country and to some of the Caribbean neighbours. Currently they have over 100 adult volunteers and 200 cadets based all around the island, providing over 20,000 hours of service to the communities and they trained over 1,000 people. St John Ambulance Jamaica has a range of community outreach programmes such as home nursing to assist vulnerable, marginalised and at-risk groups and communities especially children and the elderly. As Jamaica is listed as one of the countries with the highest road crash rates and fatalities in the Caribbean region, St John Ambulance Jamaica is working closely with the National Road Safety Council to promote road safety with the aim to save more lives. As the organisation was founded on Christian principles, the core values of every St John establishment are motivated by Christian ideals. These are to encourage all that makes for the spiritual and moral strengthening of mankind, to encourage and promote work of humanity and charity for the relief of persons in sickness, distress, suffering or danger without distinction of race, class or religion and to make awards to recognise special services in the cause of humanity, especially for saving life at imminent personal risk. People from various races and those with no religious belief are welcome in St John, but are expected to support its Christian aims and core values. With the growing support for St John, people from various parts of the world are becoming empowered to improve the health and well-being of others within their communities. In 20 minutes, we've only been able to show you a small part of St John around the world. To learn more, or if you wish to support any of the international programmes, please visit www.stjohninternational.org for more information. Thank you.